if in fact Dianne Feinstein uh, were to retire, uh, will you nominate an African American woman um, to restore the seat that Kamala Harris is no longer in the United States Senate? We have multiple names in mind, and the answer is yes. Yeah, so back in March of 2021, Newsom admitted, he admitted that he would discriminate based on race, where he did choose Feinstein's successor. And now, with the senators passing at age 90, will Democrats' plan B, Newsom, keep his race-based pledge? Joining me now is Larry Elder, 2024 Republican presidential candidate, former California gubernatorial candidate. Um, Larry, Democrats would answer <laughs> charges of reverse racism, which are, are being lodged here, by claiming there's no such thing, first of all, as reverse racism. And they would claim that by choosing a black woman, the principle of equity that they believe in so greatly is <laughs> being advanced, Larry. So on a Friday night, tell us about this equity uh, pledge and, and promise they have. Well, Laurie, thank you for having me. As I outlined in my book that's coming out in November called As Goes California, this is a race and gender guy in a race and gender party. Remember after Bernie Sanders won the Nevada caucuses and for one brief shining moment, he was the party's front runner in 2020. And then uh, James Clyburn, the longtime leader in South Carolina, endorsed Joe Biden extracting a promise that if Joe Biden became president, his first nominee would be what? A black female. Joe Biden's running mate, black female. And as you pointed out, uh, Gavin Newsom said in the event that Dianne Feinstein cannot finish her term, he would appoint a black female. Now, if he reneges on his promise, he is in deep, deep voodoo. By the way, he added a caveat, and that is that he won't appoint somebody who's a black female who's currently running. That means he excludes Barbara Lee. And Barbara Lee put out a tweet, and she was very angry about it, and said he is condescendingly checking a box, but then adding an interim to it. So he had, she had no problem with the box. She had a problem. She was not the person uh, who is going to be uh, the box that's being checked. And by the way, if this were fantasy, fantasy football, Laura, the ideal scenario is that Gavin Newsom would appoint Kamala Harris if Kamala Harris would agree to be appointed, and then Gavin Newsom would hopefully be swapped out for him VP. And if Joe Biden cannot fog up a mirror, it is then going to be Gavin Newsom. That's his fantasy football pick. But the problem with that scenario oh my is Kamala Harris. Yeah, well, speaking of Harris... <laughs> she wants to be president. Well, wait a second. But I, speaking of Harris, I'm so glad you brought her up because she's really upset over the attacks uh, that, are, that have been growing on the diversity, equity, inclusion stuff, Larry. And this is what she right. said. I look at these attempts to attack DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. They're trying to do the same thing they did with woke. They're trying to turn it against the people who understand exactly why it is important to focus on and be alert and awake to what is happening. Uh, I don't know what any of that means, but <laughs> she kind of does, she does like weird hand gestures and it doesn't actually amplify or explain what she's saying, Larry, but perhaps you can interpret for me. Well, the party is confused. Recall the candidate uh, named Barack Obama, 2004. His coming out speech was in Boston. I was there. There's no blue America. There's no red America. There's no black America. There's no white America. There's just one America, the United States of America. And then a few months ago, he was defending the use of identity politics and says he doesn't understand why it's under attack. This is the race and gender party, except it only applies, by the way, on their side. When I was running for governor, New York Times, big, long article about Larry Elder running for a governor, never mentioned that I was black, never mentioned that I would be the first black governor. And I'm fine with that. But on the same day, same newspaper uh, mentioned that Kathy Hoko was the first female governor oh, yeah. of New York. Yeah, yeah. So when you have a, an R at the end of your name, it doesn't matter that you're the first. If you have a D, uh, it, that's the only thing that really truly matters. Larry, you just don't have the right views, okay? Just change your entire political you know, <laughs> persuasion, and then they'll recognize you for who you really are. Larry, thank you. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.